Let's talk about the knit stitch two different ways, English and Continental. So now that you're ready to knit, you have your working yarn here and your tail here. The first way we're going to show is English style. Here you hold the working yarn in your right hand. You don't want to hold the yarn too loosely. It's important to have some tension on the yarn. It'll make it easier to knit in the long run. So, holding your yarn, the knit stitch involves going in between two stitches that you have on your left hand needle, going left to right through, with your needle going from the front to the back of the stitch. Then, you're going to take your working yarn, wrap it around the needle, and scoop that loop through. The next step is to slide that stitch off your left needle and pull this tight on your right needle. You've made one stitch. So let's try this again. The first stitch can be a little loose, just tighten it up. It might look like a big mess, but it's not. Also, be sure to get your tail out of the way. Sometimes it can be helpful to hold the tail on the first stitch. So you're going between these two stitches on your left needle, left to right, front to back, wrap the working yarn around the needle, and scoop it through. Then, you slide that stitch off the left needle. Now you've made two stitches. So again, through the loop, front to back, left to right, wrap, scoop, and slide off. Wrap, scoop, slide off. Make sure you keep all of your stitches on the needle until you've knit them. That last one has a tendency to slip off and can be a little tight since that's your slip knot. So just be patient. When you come to the end of your row, congratulations, you've finished a row. To work back, you're going to flip your work We've tensioned the yarn in our right hand. Now we want to tension it in our left hand, which is called the continental style. People wrap the yarn in different ways. You really just need to be able to hold your yarn and hold your work at the same time. There are many ways to hold the yarn. With practice, you'll find what's comfortable and works for you. We're making the exact same stitch. Go between two stitches on your left needle, left to right, front to back, and you're scooping the yarn pulling it through. You're creating the exact same stitch. So instead of a wrap, like we had before when we brought our right hand all the way around the needle, this is just a scoop. But if you look at the way the yarn goes around the needle, it's exactly the same thing. So some people get really caught up in, do I knit English, do I knit Continental, which is better? It doesn't matter. You're doing the exact same thing, creating knit stitches. As you can see, the working yarn has tension here, which is really important. It's a lot easier to grab a line that has tension in it rather than a slack line. You feed out a little yarn at a time, keeping the tension as even as you can. Slide the stitches up your needle as you need more space and continue on. 